Hello everyone, what's up? As most of you know, I'm an educator by trade. As another academic year draws to an end for me, so does what I consider a season of videos at the Race for Terra. In fact, the channel's second birthday was just a month ago on May 9th. If you had told me when I started that in two years' time I would have reached 5,000 subscribers and most importantly that I would have over 40 faithful Patreon supporters from all over the world, I think I would have laughed at you. At the same time though, as a very driven person, I can't help but think that the channel has somewhat stagnated in the last 12 months. But fear not, for I'm not thinking of closing shop. Rather, I think it's time for change, and time to double down. Starting next month, I've decided to change a number of things. First of all, I'm closing Patreon down and moving to YouTube memberships instead. More on that later. Secondly, and perhaps most importantly, I'm going to create Horus Heresy content again, taking advantage of everything that I've learned as a modeler since 2020 to make some of the most striking, dirtiest 30k vehicles you have seen to date. Thirdly, I'm going to narrow down the content that I make further. One video every month will always be either a Horus Heresy or a Star Wars tutorial, and I will alternate between the two. Fourthly, I'm going to have a strict and rather conservative release schedule which will help me organize myself and avoid burnout while at the same time telling you exactly what to expect from me. Namely, I will release a minimum of one Horus Heresy or Star Wars tutorial every month, showcasing a particular technique or step in a build in great detail, one which I think is of particular interest in that project. Immediately after that, I will release a much longer video encompassing that same project in its entirety, but this will always be an exclusive release for YouTube members. Some months I will have time for more than one project, but not all. This way I can guarantee that you will have at least one shorter video and one longer video each month. Furthermore, any videos that are not tutorials as such, such as product reviews, will be an extra in addition to the above. Another new feature will be a monthly poll for channel members with which will help me decide what model to tackle the following month. This is also meant to help me decide when to switch back and forth between Horus Heresy and Star Wars. I have plenty of models in my stash for either genre, so whatever you choose, I will have enough material to paint. If anyone is up for the top tier of Arch Magos in the channel memberships, I'm bringing back the one-on-one -on -one online sessions. So if you want help learning how to clean your airbrush or how to apply pigments, or maybe you're just starting a new army and would like some advice, I will make time for you and give you a hand. However, we all know that a big part of what sets the Race for Terra apart is your engagement as a community. Our Discord isn't going anywhere, but from now on the community spotlight is going to open to all comers from within the Discord and will take place as a quarterly event rather than a monthly one. I believe this will reinvigorate our spotlight videos and maybe bring back an element of friendly competition that has been missing lately. Looking back at May 2020, both the models and the videos that I was putting out back then look very primitive to me. At the risk of sounding a little arrogant, I'm confident that I've learned a lot in the meantime, both as a modeler and as a videographer, if you like. My aim for the Race for Terra Season 3 is to use those skills in order to create inspiring tutorials with the highest production values that I can possibly deliver. I hope that you consider supporting me in this venture by becoming a Risk for Terra channel member. Thank you all, and remember, keep it up and weather it out.